Welcome to another edition of The Randy Show. I am the James Randy Educational Foundation's field coordinator, Brian Thompson, and with me, as always, is James Randy. How are you doing today, Mr. Randy? Well, a little, little tired and it's a little gray outside, but what the heck. When you got uh, Brian on the other end, you know, you, you can't be all, all <laughs> grumpy about the world. You're the only person who's ever said that. Well, I... It may be true, it may not be true. We'll, we'll find out. It doesn't we? matter. Um, okay, so we're talking about snake oil. Specifically, we're talking about uh, a bit of a trouble that the website Groupon ran into. If you're not familiar with it, Groupon is a community coupon site. Um, I don't really understand how it works. Basically, it seems to me like it's a bunch of people ganging up and demanding deals from various companies. But... but uh, d does it exist and does it work and does it function? Is it just a name, a cute name? I wonder. Mm, I don't know. But apparently uh, it, they were offering a coupon for this brand of skin cream that claims that uh, it'll tighten up your skin and reduce your wrinkles because it contains an approximation of the venom of the temple viper, which is a kind of snake. Uh, so in other words, they were selling literally selling snake oil and uh, they got into some trouble with the British Advertising Standards Agency which said they couldn't sell this type of thing or they couldn't promote this type of thing because its claims haven't been proven in human testing. Now where do you get the oil from the snake? Do they have oil glands someplace that you squeeze or or that they squeeze? I don't want to do it. But uh, Or is it by rendering the snake down into a stew or uh, something like that, macerating it or putting it into a blender and letting the oil flow to the top. There's no description of what this is. But what was the technical term that they used there? Well, they say that it is not actually snake venom, but it's a formula that replicates the snake's venom. They, they, they're marketing it as an alternative to Botox. The company that makes it is called Skin Chemists, and the product itself is called Wrinkle Killer Snake Serum. And uh, they say that the active ingredient is a neuropeptide, which reduces muscle contraction and therefore smooths out your skin. I think if I were to get a reasonably hot iron, I could smooth out their skin for them. I'd, I'd like to put them on an ironing board and see how well that works. And... Uh, See if we can get some haulers from them. I don't understand what the advertising council's problem is here. Um, is this any better than other stuff that is being sold by boots, pharmacies, and other places all over the world? I, I don't understand the difference. Why did they come out against this particular thing? It's a good question, and it's something that Groupon seems to have questioned as well. Uh, specifically, they said that they thought that they were in the okay or in the all clear because this particular product didn't claim to have any sort of permanent effect. It was a temporary effect. And uh, according to a statement that Groupon made to the register, uh, they said that the product itself, whether or not it works for the reasons it says it works, it actually does moisturize your skin and give it the appearance of smoothing out. So, uh, they thought that that would be perfectly fine, but apparently uh, that's not perfectly fine according to the Advertising Standards Agency. And like you said, that raises some question about why other things like homeopathic medicine, for instance, that haven't been proven in clinical trials, uh, why those things are allowed. I, I, I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. That's a question this, for the ASA. This may be one slimming effect. If I take the cash out of my wallet here and I fold it, oh, it's much thinner now, you see. That may be the slimming effect they're, they're speaking of. Sure. I, I, I suspect that it's probably more like that. I, 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 don't, I don't see what all the fuss is that's being made. It's, it, it either works or it doesn't. If it doesn't work, it's another one of those swindles. But why would that get anybody's particular attention, get them all excited? And maybe because it has something to do with snake ven vitam, <laughs> venom? <laughs> Or what, temple vipers. Maybe the temple vipers should be left to do whatever temple vipers do. Uh, I guess they slither around. I don't know. I'd rather not meet one. 
and for the rest of my okay. life. Right. But uh, yeah, there might be one more wrinkle to this story. Pun right. wrinkle. Definitely in words. words there, yes. Uh, yeah, apparently uh, another aspect of this is that the ingredient that they say is the active ingredient in this product is unknown to the ASA, or at least they said that it's it's unknown. So maybe there are different standards for products that have known ingredients, whether or not they actually work? Well, they certainly don't include homeopathy in that because uh, in homeopathic compounds, there are no ingredients. It's uh, it, it might as well be air. It's usually milk sugar or lactose or whatever, uh, and it has no active ingredients, and it has no traceable or discernible ingredients in it. So why aren't they coming out against something which you can prove has no ingredient and has no effect and yet sells for a very high price? Uh, where are their, their attention is misdirected, I believe. Maybe the people like us who fight against bogus medicine, like homeopathy, should uh, start some sort of campaign to get a homeop homeopathic treatment coupon available on Groupon. Maybe that'll get someone's attention. Oh, I have a homeopathic uh, treatment coupon right here. Well, I know I know you can't see it, but uh, it's very clear to me. I take this into my pharmacy, and I can get a 70% reduction on homeopathic medicines. I don't want to lose that. Yeah, you got to keep that. Oh. Money in the pocket. Where did it go? <laughs> well. Yeah, I'll find it later. Check the vacuum bag. The Randy Show is a production of the James Randy Educational Foundation. To learn more about how we promote science and critical thinking, go to randy.org.